in Assassin's Creed, traditionally, there is, yes, an action component, which is very important, but there is also a very contemplative aspect. In the Discovery Tour, we really wanted to focus the main experience on discovering and learning. And all of a sudden, you're not in the game anymore. You're just in Egypt, enjoying it, and looking at the world like never before. started off in 2014, a lot of professors were contacting us saying, hey, you know what, it would be amazing if you could do a mode, a dedicated mode for us, so that we could use that into classrooms. It's been on our mind ever since, and we were thinking like, all right, how can we make the game different? Something that would be interesting for students, but also that would be interesting for our players. The idea is to be able to, to share the entire world without heavy narrative or, or fight control that would be a barrier. And, and we just let you uh, enjoy the entire world, but keeping the interactivity of the game, which is, I think, very important for such a tool. So in addition to uh, explore the entire world, uh, we decided to add more than 75 tours that are thematically framed. Most of the tours will be about the architecture, the people, the way of life. But we have also very specific stations that are clearly identified where we will try to tell more about our development process so that people understand a bit better uh, the development of video games. With the Discovery Tour, we can be proactive about the information that, that we give, understanding that sometimes it's just uh, artistic liberty, where we raised a little bit the pyramids so that you see them from afar. Uh, but the dimensions of the pyramid are actually true, and the way that we build it is actually based on all the knowledge that we have at the moment. Very early on, we knew that something that was interesting was to have external point of view on, on what we're doing. So uh, to have a scientist and his team doing an external research on our product is, is great. On est celui qui décide ce qu'on fait, on pense, donc on, on, on est impliqué dans l'action, on est engagé. En plus de l'être parce que c'est intéressant et beau, on est engagé parce qu'on doit prendre des décisions. Et si on regarde tous les détails, si on a quelqu'un qui nous guide pour les voir en plus, on maximise l'apprentissage. Ça veut dire qu'un élève laissé à lui-même, à la maison, en faisant le tour guidé, apprendrait beaucoup de choses sans même se faire dire « tu dois apprendre ceci ». là. They reconstructed a world that doesn't exist anymore. Because when we teach, we're, we try to help them to uh, be immersed in that kind of environment, but to see it at the same time. That's something brand new for the teachers and really helpful, because students, I think, will remember more what we teach if they can feel it. We, we are really here to, uh, to say, you know what, video games, can bring more than pure entertainment. I'm really happy about the, the quantity and the quality of things that we're bringing to the people so that they can actually enjoy and, and really learn about ancient Egypt.